Kariboli, also known as Delhavi, is the prestige dialect of Hindustani, of which Standard Hindi and Standard Urdu are standard registers and literary styles, which are the principal official languages of India and Pakistan respectively. The term, Kariboli, has, however, been used for any literary dialect, including Braj Basa, and Awadhi. As a base for the medieval Hindustani language, Kariboli is a part of the western group of the central zone, Hindi zone of Indo-Aryan languages. It is spoken mainly in India in the rural area surrounding Delhi, western Uttar Pradesh, and southern Uttarakhand. In academic literature, the term Koravi, Koravi is sometimes applied to the specific Kari dialect spoken in the western parts of the Kari speaking zone. The scholar Durendra Verma also used the name Sir Hindi. Kariboli is believed to have initially developed contemporaneously with the neighboring Awadhi, Bhojpuri, and Braj dialects in the 900 1200 CE period. Kari contains some features, such as gemination, which give it a distinctive sound and differentiates it from standard Hindustani, Braj and Awadhi. Geographical distribution Kariboli is spoken in the rural surroundings of Delhi and northwestern Uttar Pradesh, as well as in some neighboring areas of Haryana and Uttarakhand. The geography of this part of North India is traditionally described as Duabas. In Haryana, the following districts are Kari speaking Faridabad, Gurgaon, Sonpat, Panipat, Palwalan Uttar Pradesh. The following districts of the Yamuna Ganges Dobar Kari speaking Saharanpur, Muzaffarnagar, Shamli, Bigpat, Meerut, Ghaziabad Hapur, Bulanshar, Aligarh, Gautam Buddha Nagar. In the Trans Ganges area, it is spoken in the following districts of Rohilkhand region in Uttar Pradesh Maradabad, Rampur, Sambal, Bareilly, Amroa, Binoran Uttarakhand. The following districts of the Yamuna Ganges Dobar partially Kari speaking Haridwar. Dharadan in the Trans Ganges area, it is partially spoken in the following districts of Uttarakhand Nainital, Udham Singh Nagar Kariboli in Hindustani popular culture Kariboli is often seen as rustic by speakers of standard Hindustani, and elements of it were used in Hum Log, India's first television soap opera, where the main family was depicted as having roots in western Uttar Pradesh. As the two main Hindustani dialects of western Uttar Pradesh and the areas surrounding Delhi, Kariboli and Braj Basha are often compared. One hypothesis of how Kariboli came to be described as Kari standing asserts that it refers to the stiff and rustic uncouthness of the dialect compared to the mellifluousness and soft fluency of Braj Basha. On the other hand, Kariboli supporters sometimes pejoratively referred to Braj Basha and other dialects as Paraboli, Paraiboli, Pai Bali Fallen, Supine dialects. <laughs> Kauravi and Sankratyayan's proposal Although most linguists acknowledge that modern standard Hindustani descended from Kariboli, the precise mechanism of dialectical changes from Kari to the prestige dialect such as the loss of gemination which is so prevalent in Kari lacks consensus. There are also variations within Kari itself across the area in which it is spoken. In the mid-20th century, Indian scholar and nationalist, Rahul Sankratiyan, proposed a redrawing of the linguistic map of the Hindustani zone. Drawing a distinction between the Kari of Delhi and the Kari of the extreme western parts of western Uttar Pradesh, he advocated that the former retain the name Kariboli while the latter be renamed to Kauravi, after the Kuru kingdom of ancient India. Although the term Kariboli continues to be applied as it traditionally was, some linguists have accepted the term Kauravi as well, applying to the language spoken in the linguistic arc running from Saharanpur to Agra i.e. the close east and northeast of Delhi. Sankratiyan postulated that this Korvi dialect was the parent of Delhi's specific Kari dialect. Sankratiyan had also advocated that all Hindustani be standardized on the Devanagari script and Perso-Arabic entirely be abandoned. Other dialects of Hindustani 
Topic Kariboli is related to four standardized registers of Hindustani, Standard Hindi, Urdu, Dakini and Rekta. Standard Hindi, also High Hindi, Nagari Hindi, is used as the lingua franca of northern India, the Hindi belt. Urdu is the lingua franca of Pakistan. Dakini is the historical literary dialect of the Deccan region, and Rekta the mixed dialect used in medieval poetry. These standard registers, together with Sansiboli, form the Hindustani dialect group. This group, together with Haryanvi, Koravi, Braj Basha, Kanaji, and Bundeli, forms the Western Hindi dialect group. Early influences The area around Delhi has long been the centre of power in northern India, and naturally, the Kari Boli dialect came to be regarded as urbane and of a higher standard than the other dialects of Hindi. This view gradually gained ground over the 19th century. Before that period, other dialects such as Awadi, Braj Basha, and Satakadi were the dialects preferred by literateurs. Standard Hindustani first developed with the migration of Persian Kari Boli speakers from Delhi to the Awad region, most notably Amir Khusro, mixing the roughness of Kari Boli with the relative softness of Awadi to form a new language which they called Hindavi. This also became referred to as Hindustani, which subsequently diverged into Hindi and Urdu. Although as a dialect, Kari Boli belongs to the upper dobe, Hindavi developed in the cultural spheres of Allahabad and Varanasi. Rise as the basis for standard Hindustani The earliest examples of Kariboli can be seen in the compositions of Amir Khusro (1253–1355). Before the rise of Kariboli, the literary dialects of Hindi were the ones adopted by the Bhakti saints, Braj Basha (Krishna devotees), Awadi (adopted by the Rama devotees), and Maithili (Vaishnavites of Bihar). However, after the Bhakti movement degenerated into ritualistic cults, these languages came to be regarded as rural and unrefined. Kariboli, on the other hand, was spoken in the urban area surrounding the Mughal courts, where Persian was the official language. The Persian-influenced Kariboli thus gradually came to be regarded as a prestige dialect, although hardly any literary works had been written in Kariboli before the British period in India. The British administrators of India and the Christian missionaries played an important role in creation and promotion of the Kariboli-based modern standard Hindustani. In 1800, the British East India Company established a college of higher education at Calcutta named the Fort William College. John Borthwick Gilchrist, a president of that college, encouraged his professors to write in their native tongue. Some of the works thus produced were in the literary form of the Kariboli dialect. These books included Premsagar by Lalu Lal, Nasikitopakyan by Sadal Mishra, Suksagar by Sadasik Lal of Delhi, and Rani Ketaki Ki Kahani by Inshala Khan. More developed forms of Kariboli can also be seen in some mediocre literature produced in early 18th century. Examples are Chand Chand Varnan Ki Mahima by Ganga Bhatt, Yogavashishtha by Ram Prasad Niranjani, Gora Badal Ki Katha by Jatmal, Mandavar Ka Varnan by Anonymous, a translation of Ravishinacharya's Jain Padmapuran by Daulat Ram dated 1761. With the government patronage and the literary popularity, the Kariboli flourished, even as the use of previously more literary tongues such as Awadi, Braj and Maithili declined in the literary vehicles. The literary works in Kariboli gained momentum from the second half of the 19th century onwards. A prominent Indian historian Raja Sivaprasad was a promoter of the Hindi language, in particular the Kariboli version. Gradually, in the subsequent years, Kariboli became the basis for standard Hindustani, which began to be taught in schools and used in government functions. Urdu, the heavily Persianized version of Kariboli, had replaced Persian as the literary language of North India by the early 20th century. However, the association of Urdu with the Muslims prompted Hindus to develop their own Sanskritized version of the dialect, leading to the formation of modern standard Hindi. After India became independent in 1947, the Kariboli based dialect was officially recognized as the approved version of the Hindi language, which was declared as one of the official languages for central government functioning. See also Hindustani language, Standard Hindi, Urdu Braj Basha 
Awadhi language Dakini Topic. References. Topic.